WSBW Weather with meteorologist Ferdinand Holum. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Time now for another check of your national forecast up towards Portland this afternoon. 75 degrees, a little bit of heat still in the uh, Intermountain West there. Salt Lake City, 92. Billings, 90. And then we've got a trough of low pressure in through the East Coast. So temperatures cooler, a lot of 70s out there from Minneapolis to Boston. A little bit of heat down towards San Antonio, 91 degrees. Satellite and radar shows clear skies across the center part of our country. A few little storms moving through Oklahoma and through Texas there. There's the big cold front there, stretching all the way from New England all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. We've got a few other storms moving along the prairie provinces in Canada right through there. And then as we look out towards the west, we've got a few rain showers popping up in through California, mainly up northern California and in through the Sierra Nevada. Here's our future cast, our 24-hour future cast of the national map there. So you've got the trough. That's where we had the cooler temperatures. And then we've had the heat in through the west because you've got the ridge. You can see that here. And then this is the moisture from Linda, Hurricane Linda, that has kind of snuck under that ridge and has cooled things off here. We'll put the graphic into motion and watch. The trough lifts out in the east, and then the ridge lifts up to the east, and then we've got a trough of low pressure coming in out of the Gulf of Canada, which will bring a shot at rain as we go through the early part of the week. All righty, here are the showers that we're looking at, mainly in through northern California, also in through the Sierra. Any chances for us that for some rain pretty much diminished in the overnight hours. So we're looking at mostly cloudy skies through today, and then maybe a little bit of some sunshine later on this afternoon. Here are the temperatures for this afternoon. San Francisco 68, Redwood City 79, Mountain View 79 as well. And in the Santa Clara Valley, mainly 80s there, mid-80s for Gilroy and for Morgan Hill. Again, mostly cloudy, giving way to some partly cloudy skies later on this afternoon. We get the partly cloudy skies, and then we'll probably reach the temperature of 88 in King City. Uh, 70s along the immediate coast is a good bet. 82, Carmel Valley, 79, Big Sur, and up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, Boulder Creek, 86, Ben Lomond, 83, Scotts Valley coming in at 81, Santa Cruz, 78, Watsonville, 72. Here is the seven-day forecast. So today we peak the last day of the warm temperatures. Inland by tomorrow, we're into the low 80s. We even have a shot at a sprinkle or some drizzle going through tomorrow as that trough of low pressure comes in and starts to thicken that marine layer. And then by Tuesday, not too bad, a little bit more sun on Tuesday, but the coolest day of the week. Wednesday, we start to warm things back up there, and then we have a gradual warming trend uh, through the weekend there. And then for the coast, not nearly as pronounced, 69 to 78 today. Monday, again, mostly cloudy with a shot at some drizzle and some sprinkles as well. Tuesday, partly cloudy, 72 degrees, but that is the coolest day of the week on the coast. And then not a big warming trend near the coast, but very comfortable. Look at that, mid-80s. And I don't think anybody anywhere would complain about no. an 80-degree temperature. It's perfect. Not it's too exactly hot. what you, you want. Know, great to be sitting by the pool. Great to be sitting at the beach. Oh, yeah. Hiking, yeah, running. Love it. Yep. Everything. Right. Thanks for it. You got it.